Good morning, everybody. Orange Jay here with another War of the Visions video, and today we're talking about an older unit, but a unit I really love. One of the first units I like went really hard chasing in this game, and that's Victoria. Uh, Victoria, another Lancer unit, right? And originally I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be Victoria and Eileen, and I'm just gonna dominate the game with those two. Uh, that didn't really ever flesh out, but I do still think Victoria is a really good unit. And I'm going to kind of show you why I like her, maybe how you can use her, etc. Let's get into the video by starting talking about her support abilities. Okay, right from the get-go here, if you watched Kane's video yesterday, you're going to see that her support abilities just aren't as good as his. They're different, and some of them are really good, but she's not on that, like, newer unit level of support abilities. She feels a little dated. First of all, self-sacrifice, right? Like, great ability, but worse than Kane's. Jump plus one? She's a dragoon. She doesn't need jump plus one. That's worthless. Uh, increase HP? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't really want her taking damage. Thief lore? Aha. Here's a good one. I do like that 12% agility buff on her, and she's already very fast. So, I'll take thief, plus, thief lore for that move plus one and 12% agility. Hey, big thumbs up there for me. And then acquired AP up, yeah, that's pretty good too. Uh, what else do we want to say here? Mm, not a whole lot, except that like, let's go ahead and look at her limit break. I wanted to mix this in somewhere with Victoria because this is one of those things that does separate her from the group. Take someone like Eileen. Her limit break really just does a lot of damage and is an earth debuff. Okay, whatever. Victoria's limit break can absolutely change the complexion of a fight it's a weird aoe shape like a cross based off of her that has some decent range but it has a very high chance of charming a target it does a lot of damage and charm is much better than confuse because a charmed enemy will go ham on their team where a confused enemy will just start like hitting random people so enchanting trap has a chance of turning a fight around i don't want to spend, i don't need to spend a ton of time on that uh, hopefully you'll get to see it in action in the fights now, we're going to move to her jobs. Her main job, fantastic. Has everything she needs as a dragoon in it. All of her important jumps and her important attack buff are all in her main job. Initially, you'd be like, oh, that's really cool. That means we can use whatever sub job we want. Yeah, that's literally true because they all suck. Um, you're really not going to get a lot out of Victoria's sub jobs because none of them really amplify her ability to like go kill people. I typically just run the Dragoon sub, because it has a move jump plus one buff in it just to give her another TP skill to use, but her sub jobs are really lackluster, and that's another area where she feels dated to me. Anyway, I'm not trying to get down on Victoria, she's a very good unit, and her strengths though come from her main job, her limit break, and her ability to just one shot people. Let's build some teams with her, let's go into arena, and uh, show off what she can do. Okay, so for our first uh, Victoria showcase video here, we're going to show how Victoria works into a missile team. She has good missile resist, kind of like natively. We're going to run a missile resist card with her, and we're going to pair with some good units to, uh, you know, also help fight those missile people. Specifically, Thancred, who in this group has some sweet missile resist. We're looking at 47% missile resist on Thancred, and he can give his shield to Dario, our tank, who's looking pretty beefy against missile himself with 25%. Uh, then you get that shield from Thancred, he should be fine. Now he's running Val and he's running sub Spellblade so we can get that aggro, but let's go in there. Let's see if Victoria can do what we want her to do and carry this fight for us. Okay, so we're in the fight. Here's what we want to happen here. We need Dario to immediately start getting in range of their missile units, and we want Victoria just blowing people off the map. Now we ran Bell, okay, step two there accomplished. Victoria has already killed Nivlu. That's amazing. Um, we gave Victoria Bell so she wouldn't run out of AP, but that Nivlu like offered herself up on the sacrifice, and Victoria was like, I accept your sacrifice, Thunder Woman, and she killed her. Look at that. Look at Dario being the awesome tank that he is. A great thing about Dario is his ability to, like, move across maps. Dario does not mind that this map has a big mountain in the middle of it because his move and jump are good enough that he can overcome the obstacles. Uh, with him where he is, 
and Victor or and Frederica already shooting him with Thancred back here buffing our defense. Yo, we're already in really good shape. Um, I think I made a little bit of a mistake in the first thing, and I was talking about um, Thancred's shield. What I meant is Thancred's defense buff. So Thancred buffing everybody's defense is what I mean, not a shield, but whatever. So don't worry, we're like going to drop that limit break. We're not too worried about that damage. Um, but you do see there that Victora isn't the tankiest person ever, and awesome. We get to see her signature ability in this fight, her limit break. This is, <laughs> look at that, double charm. Like, how good is that? Now we get to watch Frederica kill Warrior of Light. Or just buff everybody for some reason. And just, you know, Frederica was like, look, I don't want to take all the glory. I'm just going to walk over here and do a buff. And we're going to let Victoria, the star of this video, kill everyone. And then Victoria tries to, but she actually lets Dario kill him. You see how it goes. But that fight worked pretty much how we wanted. Dario got in range for aggro early. Victoria one shot one of the enemies and then got her limit break off and double charmed. That's the power of Victoria. It's going to be hard to find a fight where she's more useful than she just was in that fight. Okay, so for our second fight with Victoria, we're going to show off just a more like basic team where we do two piercing damage units and a tank. We're going to keep Dario for the tank mainly here because he has that move four jump too. Move four jump two is so important on this map because there's that stupid wall like right in the middle. And if you can't get over that wall or if one of your units like your tank can't get over that wall, things can just get kind of awkward. So we're going to use Dario. We know Victoria has move four jump two because we already talked about that. And then we're going to use Glacella who can also run Shikuchi to have that move four and jump two. We're going to switch off of like a heavy missile resist team and use Titan to boost the whole group's defense, but also this just gives these awesome buffs for uh, Glacella, and we're gonna hope she can be kind of a second carry for us. She has Monk for a uh, store, and so maybe the hope is here. She goes apron into store, into one-shotting people. She's probably gonna be in range to do damage before that anyway. Let's find a fight though, see what happens. All right, so for the fight, we have found Mavs, one of my guildmates, and he's running a pretty hyper meta team here, right? Dwayne, Sakura, Kane? This is a pretty dang scary squad, and Mavs is a good player. Like, I know he's a good player, so this isn't going to be built all random. Uh, what do we want to happen? Well, what we're worried about is that Glacella and Victoria outpace Dario. There's a real chance here that they're so fast that Dario can't keep up. However... If they're just fast enough to, like, jump at the enemy team and then have Dario immediately follow in behind them just into aggro range, that would be perfect. Because then they're going to be penetrating the back line and Dario will just be there to keep the AoE away from them. So that would be the most ideal thing. There's Taunting Spell. So Dario has his hate locked up. Here's the first jump from Victoria. Does she have that one-shot ability on Kane? Javelin Claw. Okay, we're getting some good damage down. She does not have the one-shot ability yet. Uh, who's this Eternal Pain on? We're hoping just Dario. We're hoping just Dario. It, it was Victoria. So, Sakura does not care about our hate, I guess. In fact, Dario grabs Confuse, and then Glacella kills him. So, not the greatest start to the fight. Uh, Sakura looking a little bit OP early. But Dwayne's dead, so there might be hope. Sakura's going to remove that hope from us right here. The hope, Our hope is about to go away. Uh, thunder for the kill. Oh, wait. Glacella lives. Does she have... Okay, she kills Sakura. Now, is she fast enough to get a move on Kane? No, he's going to poke her to death. Dang it. Hype fight that we lose because of the thing we were worried about. Um, Dario was not able to separate himself from the team. The AoE from Sakura one shot Victoria and we got to see both like strengths and weaknesses of Victoria in these fights she's not very tanky um she can't eat a Sakura limit break and like reasonably be expected to live so that was a bit of an ouch and she couldn't quite put out the damage to one shot the cane however if our tank would have been able to stay away from her I think she'd have been even more effective in that fight oh well let's look for one more fight and see if we can do a little better Okay, one more chance for this squad to do what we wanted to do. We have a men in black team here, and we're going to run at them. 
we're gonna see if Dario can like come through as a physical tank because we haven't built as a physical tank in this group not a magic tank so soccer was probably just a bad choice and maybe we sort of forgot the rule about arena where you just shouldn't fight things that are gonna beat you that's a pretty good rule but well let's see how we do against the men in black uh, a squad that's been hanging around for months now and seems relevant still all right there's bells from Victoria we like that our Victoria is using that speed She's the fastest person in the game, just like we need her to be. So she's going to have all the AP to do whatever she wants. It would be amazing if she could go find an angle to drop like her limit break early in this fight. Charm one of these men in black and set us up like that. Let's see if she can do it. She has the move and jump. Boom, we get it. Okay, here's Enchanting Trap. I think this is only going to hit one though. Yes, only on... Oh, and it didn't... Act oh, bad luck. We don't actually charm the enemy cane. So that cane not running max um, sp uh, faith. And that is probably going to cost us the fight. Because he immediately then goes, kills our tank. And now it's just Glacella versus Ruinstern and Dwayne. Now, Glacella pretty, um, pretty good into slashing. So maybe she's got something up her sleeve here. But I wouldn't hold my breath. Magic Infuse going to take away... A lot of her AP, and here's the death blow. She goes down. So, ouch. Really would have liked that charm to land. I think it's a different fight if that charm lands, um, etc. So, let's move on. Let's give Victoria a grade. Let's see how she ranks kind of on our scale uh, and, and wrap this video up. Okay. So, we definitely got to see some strengths of Victoria and some weaknesses of Victoria in those fights. Had that... that I'm still just bent over that uh that charm not landing because that would have been a really cool way to win a fight and unfortunately you know we just weren't blessed by the rng gods in this one so let's put her scores on the screen we're gonna do this the same way we did kane and just go through it real quick damage i'm gonna give her an 88 she can just do pop off damage especially on squishy targets but she doesn't have the defense pin and for some reason gumi just won't let dragoons equip Aldoa's apron so that hurts her damage a little bit AoE ability, I'm going to give her an 85. She has good A AoE ability with Dragon Dive and her Limit Break. It's just her basic attack poking two people. However, she likes to use Horizontal Jump and she likes to use Vertical Jump. So not a ton of AoE. She's definitely not a mage, right? Utility, I'm going to go 82 here. Most of her utilities in the version of her charm. Now, normally somebody with only one, like... Uh, utility ability i'd rate him really low but charm's so good especially so good in manual pvp that i'm going to give her an 82 here anyway i just like it uh movement 99 movement all the way to the side she has that dragoon base move she can buff her move in multiple ways this girl can get around a map period she can just get around speed 90 she's really fast she can also buff her agility she's really fast i'm just going to give her a 90 on speed Sometimes her speed is too fast, and she'll like outpace your tanks and die, but I still want to give her an A on her speed. Then durability, she's not really durable. She's kind of like standard UR DPS durable, unless you're going against gunners, like what we saw earlier. So I'm not going to give her a bad score on durability. I'm just going to give her an 80, and overall I'm going to give her an 86. Really solid DPS unit, really cool ability to charm that not a lot of units have, and in the right situations against the right teams, she can absolutely carry a fight for you. She's better than she used to be once they updated her AI to be able to not just jump at things that were going to move, but she still could use an update. And when her EX jobs rolls around, she might turn into like a really, really good unit again. So that's all I got for you today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to click that like button. It helps like push it through the algorithm. Uh, click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next video.